Hello and welcome to Bay College's Online College Algebra. My name is Jim Helmer and this is the Start Here video. This is actually the landing page that you'll see for the first week of the course when you log into Blackboard and choose your College Algebra course. So this video is just going to explain to you uh, some of the major topics and navigating this course within the Blackboard Learning Management System. So the first thing that I want to tell you about is um, my email. If you have any questions as you're working in Blackboard or working on any assignments, you cannot hesitate to email me your instructor. Keep that open line of communication. It's very important. My email is helmerj at, bay <coughs> excuse me, at baycollege.edu. Helmerj at baycollege. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is the syllabus. And I'm going to step over here to the computer. Now the syllabus acts as a contract between you, the student, and myself, the instructor. It's very important that you go through the syllabus uh, and see what's required for the course. We have our meeting times. Uh, again, the uh, thing about the meeting times is you only have to choose one per week to attend. And you don't have to commit to just one every week. If your schedule changes, you choose to come to the one on Tuesday or Thursday or Wednesday, it doesn't matter as long as you just attend one of them per week. At, that is a course requirement. Also, if you go through here, there's my contact information, uh, the course materials re required, such as the textbook, and uh, the fact that you will need a graphing calculator. It is required. Also, some websites that we will be using. Obviously, we're online.baycollege.edu. That is the Blackboard Learning Management System. We will use Interact Math to submit homework. And there are uh, some additional resources uh, through the Math Department's website on MyBay, which will require you to log on. And I'm not going to uh, spend too much time of this video going through here, but this uh, is laid out in the syllabus, the grading policies, the course requirements. It's all laid out in here. Please take the time to uh, read through it. And if you choose to, there's a version you can download as a PDF right here uh, at the top of the page here. Now the next thing we're going to look at is the schedule. Because one thing I want to point out is that this is not a self-paced course. The uh, speed at which this course is completed is almost identical to that which you'd get in the classroom. So print off the schedule. Keep it with you. Every uh, due date for every assignment is available on the right-hand column of the uh, schedule. So you'll see what sections we're doing, what, what I expect you to complete during that section. And it actually gives you the due date. Uh, first example is journal number one and the basic skills test, which you are required to complete before the end of the first week are due by August 31st. And that's the Saturday after the start of the semester. So you have essentially six days to complete those first two assignments, the journal and the basic skills test. Um, the basic skills test will be available at the proctoring facilities, whether you're uh, taking it at a local proctoring facility or at the Bay College campuses. It will be available. You just have to go to their testing center, uh, ask for it, and make sure you bring picture ID. They will ask you to identify to make sure you're the student who should be taking the test. So we're going to follow this schedule as close as possible. But we have to realize, if you'll notice in red here, it does say tentative. It is subject to change, but I'm hoping to not have to do that. The next thing we're going to look at is the course announcements. Now, I had mentioned before the Start Here page is the landing page. Well, that's only going to be for the first week. That just kind of gives you a little bit uh, to be familiar with uh, the course. But after the first week, the landing page will then become the course announcements. So when you log in on the second week, you'll come straight to the announcements page. Right now, there are no announcements, because the semester has yet to be begun. But be, the first time you log in, you will see an announcement here. It's also pushed to your Bay College email. So it's very important that you, as the student, are checking your Bay College email frequently. I'd like you to check it daily, but at least every other day. Um, so like I said, any announcements for the course uh, will be available here in the announcements page, which will be the landing page in week two and throughout the rest of the semester. The next thing we're going to look at is the course modules. This is where you actually find the content of college algebra. 
Uh, before you get started in the course, I'd like you to take a look at Preparing for Math 110 Online. And if you just click on any one of these folders, it brings you into uh, the folder to show you what modules are available. One example is Tips to Success. Take the time to take a look at this. Uh, some of it could be very informative and very empowering. Uh, also, before you begin, just some additional uh, materials, such as if you plan on using Google Hangouts, there's a video in here to show you how to do that so you don't actually physically have to be on campus. This is an online course, and it's your choice whether you come to campus or not. The next is completing su and submitting homework and quizzes. Now, the videos that are within this folder are also going to be available elsewhere in the homework and quiz submission sections. So um, definitely take a look at them, whether you view them here within the module or in what we're going to explain shortly. Also, if you go to exam one, let's say the class is beginning, and the schedule says we're going to cover sections 1.1 and 1.2 uh, the first week. If you click on here, it takes you right into the module, and you can go through it. The introduction kind of gives you what is expected of you and what we're going to learn. And the next one is the handout. Now, each handout uh, correlates to a lecture video. So you can print off this video. You can complete the notes as you watch the video. It's a synchronous setup. So if we click on the next, there's the video. You can watch it right here within Blackboard. Or you can use the YouTube URL and watch it within YouTube. Uh, it is convenient. Uh, maybe you're watching it from a remote device. Uh, you could watch it uh, on YouTube itself instead of through the Blackboard system. And then, of course, the last tab, and, and most every section is laid out the same. It tells you what section to complete at interactmath.com. And uh, if you've watched the homework video, you understand how to do that. And then the last, oh, excuse me, is the summary. The summary just says, if you've done these things, you should be ready to work with this content. Uh, so that's essentially the course modules. Now, being that there are seven exams, there are seven folders for up to each exam, and there are corresponding video lectures and notes that go with each and every section of this course. So take the time to watch those. The nice thing about watching a lecture on video is if you get confused or you want to review something before the next topic within the video, you have the power to pause it. You also have the power to move back and say, you know, maybe ask yourself, how did uh, the instructor go from this step to the next step? Well, unlike the classroom, you can actually back it up, watch it again, make sure you have that concrete understanding. All right, the next tab within Blackboard we're going to look at is homework submission. You've watched the lecture video, you've completed the notes, You've practiced some of the examples. You've worked within interactmath.com. And now you're ready to submit your homework. This video explains how to work within interactmath.com and to uh, submit your homework assignments. Uh, one example is section 1.1 homework submission. When you go to do this first one, make sure you have it completed and you're ready to submit it before you click on any one of these because you click on it and it asks you to submit it. If you're not done with it and don't submit it at that time, you get a zero. So you have to make sure your homework's done and ready to be uploaded. Make sure it's in a PDF format. The next one is your quiz submissions. Now, I have yet to complete the video, but there will be a video in here uh, before the start of class. And it will explain to you how you go about completing your quizzes. Your quizzes are actually embedded within these lecture videos and within the notes. So as you're working through the notes, you'll get to one example problem that'll be uh, labeled in bold quiz. That is your quiz to demonstrate to me that you do uh, have the understanding of the content we are covering. Now, the quiz submission is a little bit different because you can submit it in several different formats, but that'll be explained in the quiz instruction submission video. So definitely check, check that out when it's available. The next tab is journals. You're going to be asked to do seven journals throughout the semester, uh, and one is the very first week. Now, these journals are the opportunity for you to do a self-assessment to kind of judge 
you know, what you're going to be doing, what you are doing, and how it's working for you. So these journal entries are asked of you, and they are on the schedule of when they need to be completed. So definitely refer back to that schedule very often. The next and second to last thing we're going to talk about is the peer discussion board. Now, what I'd like you to do is when you first log into the course, is to go to this discussion board, introduce yourself. Tell your fellow peer students what, what it is that you uh, enjoy doing. Maybe you can share a little bit about yourself when it comes to your goals, your short-term goals. Maybe what do, you, what do you plan to achieve in this class? Um, what, what's your goals for this semester? What is your end degree goals? Where, how far are you going to take your education? What major are you going for? You know, share whatever, as much as you want or as little as you want. But just go in there and introduce yourself to the class. Get to know your fellow students, because they can be a resource. The key to being successful online is building a sense of community. If uh, you find out that some of your peers maybe live close to you, or maybe you find out you know some of your peers, you could take that as an opportunity to set up study groups to work on the more difficult material that you may come across and uh, build a sense of community and persist in this course and do well. That's our overall goal. The last thing we're going to talk about is the grade book. Now, you can select the grade book. And right now, it, for me, it says users with your role do not have personal grades. Well, I'm the instructor, so I'm not actually within my own grade book. Um, but when you click on here, you will actually see your grades, what you did on each assignment, whether I've graded it and entered it into the system. Uh, and you can keep track of your grades all throughout the semester. So you'll know how you're doing. You'll be able to self-assess. And if you refer back to the syllabus, it gives you some ideas of, of dates you have to be aware of in the syllabus, such as you know, uh, financial aid uh, issues. Maybe you know, things aren't working out for you. So you'll know where your grade is. You can self-assess at any time. And hopefully, uh, your grade is where you want to be. And if not, there are so many resources out there, such as tutoring, which is all free through Bay College. If you uh, self-identify and ask for it, the college will provide tutoring for you. You just have to find uh, someone to talk to about it. All right, well, that is your introduction to the uh, Bay College College Algebra Learning Management System here in Blackboard. Uh, I hope that you have a good semester. And like I said, at any time, if you have any questions, do not ever hesitate to send me an email. Email is going to be our main mode of contact throughout this semester. So keep checking your Bay College email as well. Thank you.